This screencast continues our video series on how to use Camtasia Relay at UMass Boston. The others in this series are available at our wiki at class-capture.wikispaces.umb.edu. So after you press stop, it'll take a moment to process your video, and this will take longer the longer your video is. Uh, but when it finishes, it will load on this screen. And here we'll let you edit your presentation details. It'll let you pick a new profile if you need to, um, adjust your title or your description. It'll also, it also has options for editing your video if you need to cut out a portion of it, but that's something we're going to cover in a, in a future video tutorial. Once you're ready, you can click on the Submit button to upload. Now this will take some time, um, and the longer your video is, again, the longer it will take. So don't push submit until you're ready to leave your computer uninterrupted while it uploads. So if you're in a classroom and the next class is coming in, uh, some professors like to wait before they hit submit and then they bring their laptop back to their office. And then once they're there, they can press submit where they're going to be uninterrupted. If you do interrupt your recording by either shutting your computer down or closing Camtasia before it fully uploads, your video could be lost. So make sure to have enough time to fully upload your file. So when, you're, when you are ready, press submit. And you can see here's my upload window. And again, this will take a lot longer when you have these longer videos. My video was only one minute long. Yours will be an hour up to. Once you see this message, your file will be done uploading. Don't shut your computer off until you see this message or your file could be lost. If you think your video may have had a problem, please contact us through our wiki to let us know. Please try to keep your video to about an hour long. The system has trouble processing files that are much longer than that. If you have a longer class, you can stop your video halfway through, submit the first half, and then record the second half of it as a separate file. If you do do this, you'll want to include part one or part two in your video titles.